We have gotten a lot of controversy, apparently, for beating the Hidden Wave. It's, could you believe that? The first people to no, beat- No, I, I can't believe that people who are good at the game who beat it first would be under scrutiny. That's so crazy. I don't know. The fact is, we did it with four QA testers, right? I think it's four QA testers. Yeah. But we weren't told anything. We were told jack shit. Yeah, so the way that it was done was the QA leads, which would be Nim, Shiny, Sneaky, along with the developers, were the people who tested a hidden wave while the QA members, we for the most part, just tested Fallen, along with like a few other like you might things have. like I, your immediate mode. I didn't. Yeah, I you were just like, yeah, you just weren't there because you're doing your own thing. I, like, I, I, th I have told, um, someone about this but i don't test that i only i only, I only test when i am free and most of the time i'm not free because i have my other shit to do because yeah. I, I am away i'm i have a life as much as hard as yeah. hard as it's to believe I, I have a life outside of the game right i mean yeah so i mean i do too like i've been pretty busy it's just like the times i was able to test like i played test of fallen like a few times i wasn't too involved in balancing yeah we kind of talked about it in the video earlier where it's like oh yeah like wave 27 used to be a lot worse and i brought up a few times like we should remove the fallen rushers that, that wasn't in that, that, that's not in the final cut that's not in that final video oh it's not oh oh well you'll see it in the vod yeah I'll, i i basically what happened was let me let me let me tell you the story from my point of view right so i i maybe i should get the original screenshot right maybe i'll try and find it but someone showed an image of them triggering the hidden wave right the thing is with this community you can gaslight them very easily with a with some really obvious fakes, shall we say? A screenshot of the hidden way with something that seem that doesn't seem plausible to fake. I just didn't understand why people thought that it was fake. It, so, but basically, we we got confirmation that people were triggering it, right? Because I, I I I have said this. I don't care if I've, I've if I'm first or if I'm like twenty uh, like the two hundredth person, right? I don't care. If if I can see people are beating it, then it tells me it is po it is possible. So when people are triggering it, I'm thinking right, it is entirely possible. So then I got I went onto Discord to see if anyone was free. Uh, no one was. So I joined up with uh, other QA testers who were doing it because we didn't know what we were doing. We just knew people were, were triggering it. We didn't know how to. Pretty much, right? So how yeah, that was pretty much. Yeah, that was pretty much it. We didn't know. We basically knew about as much as everybody else did. We knew that you need to say 120, one, 1009 in the chat, get to one HP, and then just kind of speed run in general. Right. So okay, that's the part. Was, yeah. <laughs> that's the part I want to was, address as well. Yeah. <laughs> I I did not know the code of the code thing. I, you guys were doing it, so I assume people were people had uh, already told everyone that 121 and. 1009 which we're going right which which i literally do say in my video <laughs> that these numbers were probably significant i said the timer one was uh was significant may have been significant I'm not sure about um one and a thousand and nine i did say i did mention about something about a thousand and nine like maybe it's specifically you need to beat full mode at this specific time but i i digress i did not know of the code <laughs> Totally honest with you. Uh, yeah, um, Jordan had discovered it on his stream, and that's where like things like really were able to go off of. Is that why people were were trying to say like random shit in the in the chat to see if if anything yeah. triggered it? Right? Because yeah, oh yeah, yeah. That's why people were um saying just like random stuff because they thought that out of those three things, there's also something else you need to do. Well, like, like personally, I was like, I was like, see, like it gives you visual feedback of something related to the hidden wave happening. You probably need to do something in the game. But basically, we we we, we were genuinely <laughs> we didn't know anything. Like we, I get we're QA testers and we should have some insider knowledge, which we're obviously not allowed to talk about. But the hidden weight is not one of those things. We we did not test it. Yeah, another good example is um, Lost Souls. The QA testers were not able to. We didn't like we knew that there's a secret mode, but we didn't know like how to activate Lost Souls. I found out accidentally so funny story so i found out ex accidentally because i saw some people testing it i'm like oh i wonder what they're doing and i see that they all have a loadout involving like four specific towers and i connected it with my somewhat limited fnaf knowledge i'm like 
Oh, oh, it relates to the end. I think that's funny because I think I did Lost Souls with you as well. Yeah, so yeah, I knew beforehand, but like. You didn't say anything. Like, I figured out. Yeah, I, just... I don't want to give myself credit because I, I don't remember if it was me or if it was someone else. But from what I remember, it was me who figured it out. It was like, we need these specific. Because these are the specific plushies that spawned into that game mode. Therefore, we probably need them for Lost Souls. Oh yeah, what's funny is that all of those like plushy enemies that's in that, we actually have plushies of them now. Do we? Oh yeah, Besides we Shotgun. Besides Shotgun. Oh no, yeah, Shotgun. Below Natural. Release that. Um, but no, now I want to discuss how we approached it because he wouldn't believe me when we say we literally spent... Okay, I said three hours. It's because we started... I texted... I messaged you guys at 21.57 in my mind because i have a dyslexic mind i i thought right i started it at nine o'clock and then we triumphed like pretty much one minute past midnight so in my mind yeah we spent three hours on this and in my mind it seemed like three hours but it was actually it's actually we only spent two hours on it and uh, i only have one hour of footage oh uh, my god because i don't i didn't record the parts in the lobby uh so yes i did lie when we say i have three hours of footage i only have one my bad. Can't believe you lie like that. <laughs> I, I, anyways, um, I want to go over that footage, right? Um, because it does, pr it does prove that we we didn't know what we were doing genuinely. Because we we started out on Stained Temple. I think it's the map that's the map we called. Because it was it's the map that appeared in the update log, right? Um, I think the screenshot that I saw uh, used Stained Temple. Also, I, I I thought, hmm, why would the developers use Stained Temple quite a lot in the uh update log so i thought maybe at stained temple we didn't want to stray too far from what people were discovering so we decided okay we're gonna use stained temple we didn't realize at the time any map would have worked yeah yeah we yeah we had just done like stained temple views like oh it's featured right here that makes sense so we did it it took us a few tries to actually get to one hp just because that's pretty annoying to do thank god that um Thank God that uh, Fallen Mode has just like you always start with 200 health. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, some people. If if if, if you if your team doesn't have enough levels, then people are starting out with less than 200. But uh, yeah, pretty unfortunate. But oh well. Um. I mean, the thing is, I mean, I'm I'm showing the footage right now. We got we got to one HP. Uh, on the first try, I think. The thing Was is, it? Was it on the first try. Uh, yeah, well, from what I have, I don't know if I've deleted some stuff. I might delete some stuff, we'll see. Um, I'll just go into my rubbish bin, but... We... I... we did... we got first try on 1 HP. A lot of effort, may I add. A lot of, like, yeah, it was a lot of, like, doing math on the fly. Yeah, I literally... I'll upload the VOD, but I li you literally see me calculate, right, the first four waves, all the enemy's health, uh, add up to 171 HP, right? Because we didn't know... Th the thing about the wave structure of the Fallen Mode is... It is either me... Or my editor... my wiki uh, The main wiki editor, who I know... Because... Um, obviously... Um, we... It's either, uh, it's either one of us that uploads the wave structure... Because we're bothered to do it. Um, we weren't bothered to do it... First, because... The Fallen Mode... In, my, in our minds, Fallen Mode is like... The largest of the tasks that we have to go through... Because it has the most changes in this update... And in, this is just my ADHD mind, we go for the smallest tasks first. So whenever there are bug fixes, we go for those first and mention those before moving on to the larger tasks. So the wave structure for, for, for Fallen Mode was honestly like one of the last things we were going to do. But it would have really helped here because then I could have easily calculated on the, I could have easily calculated before that the foot, that before wave four, we, um, we would have uh, been dealt 171 damage. We would have been left with 29, so we needed to find 28 health somewhere. But I was doing that on the fly on my phone. The VOD will prove it. Um, but then after we got it to 1, which I, which was achieved by letting a heavy go get into the base on Stain Temple, uh, we just... We didn't realise that you'd... <laughs> Did you do you know how actually know how to activate it? Um, I had no idea. Like I like I knew that like after we said the three things it got to one HP, it was just kind of like go fast and hope it works. That's what we generally thought it was go fast and you literally see me in 
this vi in one of these videos that I'll say, oh, we're doing it in like 17 minutes. And then the video that we actually won, I say we did it in 20 minutes. So I generally th thought that both times we wouldn't trigger it. But we did both times. Yeah. <laughs> but Yeah, we thought that it was like, we thought that like it was like a callback. It's like, oh, you have to get under 60 minutes and 49 seconds, which granted, when you have to leak stuff at the beginning is really hard because like we were like spawn killing stuff like pretty consistently and it's like oh okay um things are still like some things still were getting through but like it was still it was st like it like it was fast but like it wasn't like under 16 minutes and 49 seconds fast but then we activated it for like oh it's probably a bit more lenient and also we died like we died quickly yeah, we died really we were, like we we're like oh my god what the <laughs> fuck is going on <laughs> so i would, I would like to go over that for our the, the, literally the, the the before wave 20 in fact before like wave 30 for all of our uh, for all of our gameplay probably we were goofing around we didn't we genuinely didn't realize that we would trigger it because yeah because <laughs> i don't know if you actually realize i don't know if, if anyone told you but the actual requirement is to beat the fallen king whenever it spawns in 45 seconds it's nothing to do with getting there yeah. So we didn't realize that. Um, so we. Okay, so we did. Uh, uh, we used the Jester this time. I don't think the Jester was, was a great idea. Uh, yeah, yeah. In our run that we won on, we had swapped out Jester for Brawler just because of the large amounts of damage. Yeah. Uh, yeah, here, here I, 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 uh, I realized that placing the Brawlers at the front would have uh, would have been so much better uh, for us. Um, only because, uh, again, we thought we would on a time limit. That's why I placed the brawlers at the front. Also, I think brawlers at the front is better because then it gets rid of the uh, aggro enemies a lot quicker. So this yeah, is what... <laughs> because it allows them to be like held in place so stuff like mortars can still get like a collateral. Yeah, this is on Stain Temple, but it w applies for um, because uh, we're, we're also going to go through how how like advice on how to what to give other people to beat it because uh, well by the time this video comes out, I assume the first. 48 people would have got would have beaten it interesting yeah, I think at this moment it's at 26 it's on 26 right um 26 that's not divisible by four i assume repeat people doing it maybe but yeah um so i was told that it was actually gonna be 48 because technically because we're qa it's a little iffy and then the second triumph nioru was using admin towers so i mean they're also qa as well right yeah, but like he had absolutely no involvement. He had like no idea about anything. All oh, right, so same as us, but the the QA involvements were involved in the first two runs. That w I mean, below says okay. I don't want to say too much, but below says they are both legit runs. Yeah, but I mean, our run was apart from the fact that if we were like normal people, again, this is this is what people don't people need to realize. Just because we're QAs doesn't mean we know everything we just know how the game operates if that makes sense because we've had yeah because between all of us I, I say we have like two decades of experience on tower defense simulator we kind of know we've I've had the games now for less so it can't be one that no, but between all of us right if you combine our oh, experience between all of us yeah if you combine all our experience I think it is two, about two decades because it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's assuming that we have played the game for five years but Seems yeah, reasonable. I've been playing. Yeah, I've been playing since the original Easter event back in 2020. That's four years. Eh, whatever, close enough. <laughs> I've been playing for five years, but you know, it's it's. Wah, wah. We've had a we've had a lot of experience on the game, so I mean that's why we were hired because we've had we have experience. We know how the game kind of works inside out. Yeah. We kind of naturally kind of know how things are meant to be, and we kind of know naturally how to beat stuff. Cause that's the thing. Yeah, that... I mean, like. Yeah, yeah. Continue. As much as like people want to say that the meta is like difficult and like super different, it's, like Accelerator is still by far the best DPS tower. Engineer is good, but it still like requires time to ramp up, especially in the hit wave when every like when units are getting like stunned and killed and yeah. stuff. It's like Accelerator's like Accelerator is always going to be your best DPS option. Engineer is also going to be like right up there. Rangers are going to be good because they don't get stunned. They deal lots of burst damage. Merc base is good because of the damage buff. The damage buff and also the bright guns. Um, 
yeah, the right yeah, the riot guards kind of just being like little like nukes. And it's just like the it's like once you understand what's good in the game, you can kind of like for stuff like this, it's really easy to know what to do. It's simply it's because like I've like I tried soloing hardcore a few times back when it was like gesture strats, but gesture's really good. I got to wave fifty a few times. Yeah. But, so like I know the yeah. strat of like pick up all your stuff, sell it, move it to the back, keep applying damage, and that's what we did, and it worked. Yeah, so that's the that's the point I'm trying to get across is yes we're QA testers, but we also have experience. And that the experience is more important than the fact that we were QA testers. Oh, we didn't actually trigger it first time. We only got to wave 32. I don't know. On wave 32, we lost to flying enemies because we skipped too fast and we got too many aggro enemies. Uh, that ag uh, that are uh, the mortars. I the mortars were focused on the aggro enemies, the fallen right guard thingies. So they then then they then missed the flying enemies. So we lost to that. That's wave 31. That's the first try we did. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Second one we did. Uh, we can you see the new one? Mm -hmm. Right. So second one. I think we didn't even get to. We got to. How did we get one HP? We got really lucky on that one, right? Yeah. Also, I'd like to point uh, uh, point in case uh, we restarted. So um, that's a tip. If you restart, you don't need to see the code again. You can just restart. You don't need to rejoin the whole game and everything. Um, I don't know about reviving. We didn't really touch that because. I think reviving puts your health all the way back up to 200, and then it's just a pain yeah, to get it down to one again. Yeah, especially in late game, it would just be such a pain to really like bring it back up. Yeah, so we just didn't. We just decided no, we're not using. We're not reviving. We're we're gonna restart. Uh, what happened? Uh, we got it down to one HP very luckily. I think really early on, we got it to like on like wave six. Uh, we then yeah. Oh yeah, and as you can see, we have a level three jester. Yeah, we're still using Jester because we didn't uh, rejoin, but... Okay, this is, I think this is the run where we actually first got it. Uh, yeah. So, right. Here, here, here. You, 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 you can see my farms here. They're not maxed at all because... Oh God, yeah, no, you just were not able to farm. I wasn't able to farm because I was... I, I... This is the thing I would change if... I mean, obviously we won, so it doesn't matter. But the thing I would change is I was focused on literally every single aspect of the game. I was focusing from early game from the brawler, mid game with the mortar, at late game with with uh, the ranger, and then I also had supports with the medic. I had so much tasks to do. Yeah, you had a lot on your plate, and then I was also like doing commander chaining. Yeah, you had commander chaining. Um, I don't know about mercenary. I mean, to be fair, I don't think we, you need much other than that. Yeah, no mercenary base. I haven't grenade. Uh, grenades for a little bit, and I'm like, oh wait, no, this kind of sucks, and I switch it to riot guards. These riot guards are fucking nuts at max level. Yeah, uh, right, so skipping on, we actually did actually uh, beat. I want to know how, how what our time was beating this, because I checked the other footage. I'll tell you how long we actually took to beat it, but <laughs> like, genuinely, this, I don't... <laughs> I think I thought 45 seconds. Oh, that's a long period of time. We we triggered it both times. We got to wave 40. We triggered it both times. I think we were pretty close both the times. Yeah, these 45 seconds is so like that's not that long, especially for like these Fallen King has what like <laughs> 210,000 210, yeah. HP. Yeah, which is that's a lot of like like that's a lot of like damage to do in a short period of time. Yeah, uh, I'm just trying to see. Okay, so it was 16 seconds passed. So then to trigger it, uh, it would need to be before 45. No, no uh, 50, 59. Uh, so from 16, we beat it in. Uh, that's 30 seconds. Uh, that's nearly 40. No, we actually beat it in 38 seconds, so you, it's, oh, wow. we beat I it quite quickly. I think it's kind of close. Like, 7 seconds is still, like... Yeah, you, you'll see, in the actual run, we beat it. You'll see how close we were. <laughs> Don't worry. Yeah. But, uh, so yeah, so we beat it. Uh, we didn't know what would... Uh, the Fallen King did this weird, uh, like, animation that was so cool. Yeah, he, yeah, he did, like, a unique... He did, like, a unique, quote-unquote, death animation. And I was like, oh, shit. That's the thing. Because normally he kind of like ascends up into the air, like yeah, he's yeah. doing that one emote. Yeah, and then you know, 
we, we, you then have to beat the other enemies that are appearing, so the Fallen Guardian, whatever. But yeah, it's, it's 41, mostly... 41 is like kind of a nothing burger wave, not gonna lie. Yeah, 40, 41 on its own, yeah. It's, it's, it's a wave to occupy your towers while this whole animation's running. Yeah, I am kind of confused on why they reused 1x1x1x1 one x one x one because they kind of feel like because it feels like they should have used like a more like lore relevant character. People, people have been complaining. Uh, I have seen Discord messages. People have been complaining about this. People said, "Oh, it should have been Lord Exo." Tyler, Tyler, the developer, has been saying, "Oh, it's not actually one x one x one," but then he's also saying it's not Lord Exo too. So it's like, okay, but I mean, I'm not. I don't. I don't really care. I think this is. Some people are complaining about the execution of Hidden Wave is pretty poor, but I think this is quite cool. I think I think it's cool. I just wish that maybe, you know, one of my cool things is Void Caster. That's true, but I mean, people are just caught up on the on the law too much. I think. Yeah. But then yeah, this 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 is, yeah. this is this also is, really this is my favorite part. This is my favorite part. It's so well made. Like people could, people are saying this is, isn't unique. This is very unique. I can't lie. And then this part, you know, if you have epilepsy, apologies, but... Yeah. Also, I th also, we don't realise the the Awakened Fallen King doesn't actually spawn at the start of, of, of the game. Oh, well, wait, he spawns a bit forward. It's not, yeah, he spawns a bit forward, so our brawlers here would have been useless. My, my, my brawlers yeah. here, sorry. My brawlers here were useless. So, again, an, a sign that we did not know what we were doing. But... Yeah, th yeah, like, literally our first time, we were like... What the like? We were like, oh my god. Also, I didn't see like. Yeah. Also, I didn't realize we had. We, you're given two million dollars. Yeah, yeah. You're given. Yeah, you're basically just given like enough money to like do whatever you want because Awaken Fallen King probably doesn't give you that much by himself. No, I think it's. Speaking definitely... of which, the model for him looks so cool, and like the sword being that like old unused one that was teased like a while ago. Did they for the original Wake Fallen uh, King model, was yeah, really they, cool. They, they definitely did change it. From okay, I can't. Yeah, like, obviously, I'm not like obviously they obviously they didn't just like reuse the model, but like they definitely called back to it, which is really cool. Like we, I can't speak about the original model because actually, and maybe I could. I have to ask Spetson about it because it appears on a badge, but that's an, that's another issue entirely. But. Another another thing people have been saying about the Hidden Wave is it doesn't use any unique enemies. Like I think all the enemies here are like from from like uh, Fallen Mode, and that that's an issue people have that it's not using yeah. unique enemies like the original Hidden Wave was. But I'm like yeah, which I mean like I feel like that's kind of disappointing, but also kind of like if they used unique enemies, I feel like those would have like leaked everything harder because people knew that Awakened Fallen King was like a thing. But yeah. like we like we like we didn't know like the community didn't know that Hidden Wave was like a thing. Like it wasn't like completely confirmed. Sure. That's it's like yeah. I kind of think I kind of like, agree with that as well. The thing is though, like compared to like back then, we can't do like Dev One, Two, Three in the creator because to put it like kind of bluntly, at least like what I think the reasoning is is that this game like the development team is a lot more professional. It's not just like a group of friends working on it. It's like an actual company. <laughs> Yeah. So choose it just so like cherry picking a few people to like represent developers yeah. along with like the like creator like it it just wouldn't age as well especially with like avatars change yeah. people come and go like also, stuff like that. Yeah. Also, I don't think people realize the models used back in 2020 for the Hidden Wave were not as professionally made as they were are now. I'm like, no, 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 let me put it bluntly. The models back then, like, were fine back then, but like, compared to now, they look awful. I mean, like, look at, like, Default Medic or Commando yeah, or War Machine, like, stuff like that. They look old. Yeah. Then that's the thing. People want unique enemies, but they also seem to... It's, it's, I think it's the nostalgia factor, mostly. They like the older version more because it was just it's just old like for example in like five years time people will look at this probably more fondly yeah yeah because it's like when it first comes out people are like oh my god why it's not like this blah, blah 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 but as time goes on they're like like they see it for what it is rather than because like obviously it's the second version of hint wave people are always going to be like oh the first was so much better I, no it wasn't 
You know no, what? You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of when Polluted Wastelands 2 was released. People preferred oh God, the yeah. original Polluted Wastelands, even though it is unequivocally worse. Yeah, no, it's just way worse. Like, oh my God, I remember when the first Polluted Wastelands came out. I, oh my god, like, I didn't have, like, all the gold towers at the time, so I was in party queue, like, looking for somebody <laughs> with golden mini enemies, that's what you needed to defeat, um, release Abomination, it was crazy. I didn't think, I didn't or have golden towers at the time, but yeah, I, I got into random queue and beat it first time, so, I don't know how that oh, happens. Wow. Uh, you just locked in, you are you were simply just better. Uh, right, then stay Oh, oh, shit, um, it's 49 people. It's 49, oh, people, okay, so, we've already gone, alright, so, there's no point, uh, trying to get the skin. Um, everyone's yeah. already, it's already all gone. Um, so, right. Oh, yes. Let me, oh, yeah. Before we go on, let me clarify. Whatever, like, upcoming tower below has in mind, we, don't. Um, we have not, we don't know what it is. Please don't ask us. You'll be able to see the skin in the tower when it comes out, but as of now, we don't we <laughs> know about as much as you guys know. So, please don't ask us about it. Um, we don't know what. Uh, both the upcoming tower. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I did offer, like, I did say to below, hey, I was like, hey, I'd be, I'd love to make the skin for it. So, hopefully, maybe I'll be able to do that. But like, that is, like, everything is like super up in the air. Yeah, because you also got to know, below believes us when we say we do it, we did it legit. <laughs> he can track up. He, I think he can, he can, tr he can see that we did it legit. But then, if yeah, he, if he even if he couldn't, I would have submitted literally all my footage. To show him, we weren't, we didn't know what we were doing. We were literally goofing around, messing around to see what triggered it or not, <laughs> or if we could even do it. We, I didn't know that. I didn't know that Below was going to give us something. Like genuinely, I just wanted to beat it. Yeah, like I kind of like was like, oh, it'll be like the other things, like how um, Fivols beat uh, Hardcore on Infernal Abyss with his friends, and then they got a skin. I thought it was going to be something like that. Oh, really? That's that. That's um, that's why that skin was added. Yeah. Hmm, okay. D like, regardless of the quality, he still did it. And the whole, like, thing that came out where, like, people were just absolutely dogpiling on him, that was not okay, and we should look to be better as a community and not trash I, people for, you know, not being perfect. Uh, you need to inform me what happened, because I don't know what happened. Oh, so, um, so, Fivols is not only a content creator, but he also, um, makes TDS skins and yeah he's a bit newer to it so compared to you know like the developers yeah he's not as good yeah that's like comparing me to like but a like like um but like yeah reg I'm sorry but oh. regardless yeah he still worked hard on those skins and he was able to format everything correctly they were able to be imported and all that stuff and people were just absolutely dogpiling on them because it wasn't to like the same exact level of quality as stuff made by the actual developers. Which, like, as like whatever like you want to say about the quality, like whatever, just Yeah, I, I like an inside thought and don't like come after these people for, you know, Fivols and his friends were the first people to do it. It was a big accomplishment. It required um, a lot of tries because there was RNG involved and people were just shitting on him so hard. I feel bad for him. Yeah, it was like very much like a TDS discussion sort of thing where oh, I was right, pretty okay. self think but it, it, it's like, I saw it, like I saw a bit of it and I was like, I was like, guys, please stop like yelling at him. It's not okay. It's like, it, it's, just, it's not okay. I mean, that just shows that people just shit on people for whatever. Like, the smallest shit. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, including us winning, like, being the first people to win, it's like... They're literally trying to find... They're literally, they're literally trying to find... Yes. Literally, one of, one of the one of, one of the criticisms that... That... Um, that... Um, that we got was... Ah, uh, one, of, one of them's a YouTuber. Of course it's the YouTuber that does it first. <laughs> oh my god. Like, do people not realize that YouTubers don't have commands? Like, maybe they did, like three years ago but nowadays no they none of us had commands so like I uh, a qa tester mayman's a qa tester akali is a mod you're a content creator and it, like we're all testers none of us the only people who have commands in the main game the like benefits. you can't even call them admin commands these admins don't have them 
developers do. It's like it's. It, I call it the developer console. The, uh, they don't know that. They, they, everyone calls it admin command. It's not, I don't really consider it commands anymore. Well, I feel like, that's like it's a very like it's a very like general name. We're, we're, there's, there's nothing really different about us to compare to normal people. It's just we didn't even test this, so we, we can't even say you can't even say that we knew anything about this. Uh, I'm just trying to see where we lost on this wave, though. <laughs> Uh, right. Uh, we, we lost on wave 20 to, I think, a Fallen. Uh, but yeah. So, we lost to wave, on wave that. And then, moving on, we went to Crossroads. Because, at this point, right, we didn't know if the map triggered it or whatever. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, so we just wanted to try out what was, like, an easy app. So, we thought that Crossroads was an e We were debating U-turn or Crossroads. Yeah. But we decided to go crossroads. Uh, the only issue is, it's really hard to manipulate the health of enemies when they cross over. We tried for a while, I think. Uh, from my reckoning, it, it, seriously. Yeah, we tried for like a few matches. Uh, yeah, we tried once. Didn't work. Work. As you're, as you're, yeah, as you're looking through those, dude. My God, the the thirty the the thirty two number gaslight was. Oh my God, people got so fixated on it. it oh my God. Okay, I still don't understand how people got fixated on the number thirty two from a fucking computer. So, so the hint from the computer was that it said time, which basically was a very vague hint to either looking back in time or you have to have a good time like on a, like yeah within something it was like between like cubes and rhombuses yeah and it was uh it was binary okay and, but like people got fixated on the 32 thing rather than the time thing like they treated it as two different things even though 32 just didn't matter like even next year said where did the 32 stuff come from? What was it? Gaslight? Uh... It was- everybody was like gaslighting each other. You know, honestly, we would not have solved it today if, um, Jordan didn't stream for like hours and hours on end and kind of like, be a unifying sort of like community pillar to figure this stuff out. I'm just trying to think what the quote is. Girl boss, ga gaslight, uh... Like gatekeep girl boss. Ga yeah, that one. <laughs> gatekeep girl boss, gaslight. <laughs> People are posting a copy pasta. Um, people are posting a copy pasta that says, "Dear Star Wars, AK Tyler, hello. I hope you're well. On behalf of every player here in the TTS community, we would like to request to raise the bar for the secret hidden wave skin. I grew up with this game starting in 2020, and I can't even forgive you if you do this. To us. We are insecure, sensitive, and odd human beings. So please consider the best." Ultimate dealer. No, oh my god. No fucking way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You put it. They put it pretty sufficiently. Um, insecure. Yeah, absolutely. Bro, they. Okay, from what I'm hearing, the issue is people don't. People can't, for the life of them, figure out how to get enemies to one HP. I mean, we didn't. We lucked it. That's what you're meant yeah, to do. I mean, it, it's, it's just math. It's just math and micro. Like, these people have never played anything remotely difficult in BTD6. Like, they do not know micro. All they know is place down accelerator, not change targeting, eat hot chip, and lie. And then once something remotely difficult happens, people complain. Literally, people, oh are, my God, people are complaining yeah. more about the 1 HP thing than the Fallen King. Well, I mean, to be fair, 1 HP can be... Pretty I've talked to some people about it. They consider no. the uh, Fallen King to be harder, but I mean, I consider the one HP to be harder because that's what we've yeah, felt on most uh, times. Yeah, but I, I think one HP thing is harder just because it requires a lot more like consistent effort. While Fallen King is like, um, just like be be good at the game. Yeah, L L and you kind of need yeah, some it's... luck, I think. Yeah, well, I feel like it's le because I know Wither found a consistent strap, but it's like. When you're just trying to do it on the fly, it does require a bit of luck to like. Just do it. Yeah, it yeah it just it require it requires stuff. Anyways, um, we uh, then lost. So then we decided, uh, then we realized, Fungi Island is probably the better option. I can't lie, because it's longer and our issue was length. Yeah. Uh, so this is the first time, and there is there is something that happened, right? 
Uh, oh my god, look at this, look at this gif that I sent. <laughs> that means fucking Peabody from Peabody and Sherman. Just put the eyes in the cake. Like, uh, did you did you ever watch that movie? <laughs> no, I haven't watched it, but <laughs> I do. Oh I, reco God. I recognize. I recognize Peabody. It is. It is a. It is. It is where like the, like the like the ancient Egypt like song like kind of like blew up and turned into a bit of like a meme. It's like a a a a yeah. ancient Egypt. Yeah, that's where it came from. <laughs> I've seen the movie maybe once after that, and I just me and my friends were laughing like so. Long. Fair enough. We fair enough. laughing. So my God. Fair enough. But uh, that actually brings us to the onto the next point beautifully. Um, I had that the same issue. Oh my God! Yeah, you and Akali had the weird GUI issue. I didn't get it, which uh, thank God because I was doing Commander Chain. Oh, and there it is. Yeah, literally. I think okay. What happened was I equipped a tower, and then it all of a sudden broke. Yeah, I equipped. Uh, I think it was the Brawler. Then it broke. My UI just broke. Yeah. So, but I, this is where our knowledge knowledge of the game comes in. I've talked to so many people about this glitch. People just completely abandon the run. What people don't realize. Yeah, because, well, so that's because like if they're in solo. Yeah, but it's like if you learn solo, that's like oh, mop mop. But in like quad, you can just rejoin. No, but I'm talking. I'm talking about people. People, people in teams, they just yeah. abandon the run. Yeah. <laughs> because this is where our knowledge comes in. We know that rejoin is a feature in the game, so we can. E I knew it's easily okay. I can exit. I can rejoin, and it probably will fix the issue. <laughs> so that's what I did. I rejoined, and people. I don't know if this is a troll or not, a massive troll, but people have a fence that I rejoined. Because <laughs> people think I'm use I'm abusing a bug with the rejoin feature. <laughs> but from what I understand, the rejoin bug is where you can you equip other towers <laughs> before you rejoin. But you can clearly see, once the rejoin thing appears, I quickly rejoin. And then the the, ca the extra cash that appears is from the farms that were generating money when I was gone. <laughs> yeah, the way that rejoining works is that it takes the money that you're making from farms and basically like stores it. It will actually basically takes like all the income that you generate from both like your towers doing damage to enemies and from farms. Yeah. And it just adds that. And rejoining isn't like rejoining by itself is not It's not advantageous. It's just, it, yeah, no, it's not advantageous at all. You're not getting anything out of it. You just leave the game, you come back, and then, like, you get the money that was generated, and you everything's continue. all happy. Yeah, so I don't understand where this notion of I abused the rejoin bug appeared. I was trying to fix a bug, you know? <laughs> and even then, you'll see this You'll see this happens. This affected the way that I, that I was able to play the game. And actually... This actually, that bug actually caused us to win because I'll explain this later. But, but honestly, right? Early on, you just need to focus on getting one HP on the enemies while also getting enough towers to deal with the enemies that come later, which I think is fine if you can do basic maths. But I understand that people can't add to one, so sorry they can't get to one by taking away stuff. It's whatever. Uh, so technically speaking, we didn't. We were still speedrunning this. We didn't know that actually it, the condition is based on the Fallen King. <laughs> but um, I, some people have asked, can you use consumables on the on this game mode? You can. T uh, Tyler confirmed this, or Star Wars, as you guys know him. Yeah, you. Yeah, you can use consumables, just not on Wave Forty. Yeah. So people, people then. People keep trying to bend the rules. People are like, oh, can I use this on wave 39 and then if it extends over into... Yes, you can. But the main issue is you're using consumables in the first place. If you're using consumables in the first place, you're not beating the hidden wave. That's the more prescient issue. Because during the hidden wave, consumables are disabled. You cannot rely on them and they won't carry over into the hidden wave. The sequence of the hidden wave is just too... Com combined with uh, wave 40, it's just too long for it to actually make an effect on the hidden wave so just don't rely on consumables if you don't have the towers you don't have the towers <laughs> either get the towers or you or get 
or try and be useful with the tiles you do have. And if you can't do that, then unfortunately you can't beat it. So that's just the way things work. <laughs> um, I want to say I love that mortar skin. I love the Wario laugh so much. Oh, the pirate, yeah. It's probably, yeah, it's probably from like Wario World, if I had to guess. Uh, yeah. Uh, so none of this is actually important. So, until wave 40. Uh, you can see me here. Right, okay. So I would like to point out. We beat the Fallen King. Remember, you have to beat it in under 45 seconds. We beat the Fallen King in 44 seconds. Oh my, wait, what? We beat it in... I would... Uh, oh I, my god. The, right, so yeah, according to my footage, the Fallen King appears at uh, the... I think the 16th second? Uh, 16th second? No. Uh, hold on. No, 20, it would be 26th. Uh, 25th second. Wait, it was okay. It appeared on the 25th second exactly, right? Uh, and then we killed it on. Let me just progress the fetches. So 25. So uh, it clops over into uh, the 22nd. I don't know if you guys can see it. It clops over into the 22nd. So that's already 35 seconds. Uh, so and then right now it's 35, 36, 37. 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. We beat that's, it on the 44th second. Oh my god, that's actual insanity. So yeah, but you can also see me, right? Uh, I don't know if I'm if I'm showing it that well, but I'm trying to use a consumable here, but the game isn't letting me use it. Uh, let me see. Uh, I don't think I can show it. No, okay, so you guys are just going to believe me, but I was trying to use a consumable at the time. But... Yeah, he said that he was trying to use it, but it just, like, it just didn't work. Because my, because uh, of the glitch UI thing, it didn't work. But, if I had used it, we wouldn't have triggered it. <laughs> so... Yeah, and we probably wouldn't have been the first people, we probably would have been the second. Yeah, because the other people, they did, they beat it like 30 minutes it, afterwards? <laughs> yeah, so I guess maybe it would have been like... It would have been, it would have been really close. <laughs> but, oh my god, and here is... I'm not going to dub them as like 2x2x2x2. 2x2x2. But yeah, um... That was something important I had to say as well. Ah, right, yes. Um, the Medic. Right, so this is, this is now a tips on how to beat the Fallen... Uh, how, tips on how to trigger the Hidden Wave, right? We already discussed, uh how to get to 1 HP. Uh, just leak as much as you can on like the first four ways because you only get 171 health and then manipulate it as much as you can with basic maths to 1 HP, right? That's all you need to consider. After that, use your towers, get to wave 30... Oh, you also have to like type in the code and everything, but you can... People don't... People think you have to You have to say it before intermission, you have to say it before wave one. You... I said it on wave three. You don't need to like have it in the back of your mind. You just need to say it. Then you need to get it to wait, hit, uh, one HP through like the manipulation methods, and then you just need then you need to beat the Fallen King in under forty five seconds. We did it in forty four uh, without consumables, but also do it. <laughs> so like, if you don't have the towers to do it, then you can't you, you can't trigger the hidden wave, <laughs> right? But the other thing is the other thing I wanted to mention is the medic. We figured this out early on. You can't use the medic during the game. Because then it would heal the base beyond one. So we figured it is not a great idea that we use the medic until wave 40, even though stunning enemies appear on like wave 37 or something. So that's something that we already knew how what to do because we knew the medic would heal the base. So yeah. that's like that's again our experience coming out. <laughs> so then it's like, okay, we need to be at one HP, so let's just not <laughs> use the one tower that can heal the base until it doesn't matter. Yeah, so, right, so then here we trigger it. Uh, I, I question why it, it was using the Krampus animation of floating, because, like, I couldn't upgrade my towers, even though I was getting money from, like, the enemies, but that's fine. Then you get a two million paycheck. Right, so here, I will like to point out, we, this is the second time we're doing this. We don't know what we're doing. I was suggesting stuff, like, throughout the game, I was suggesting stuff in preparation for this, but I didn't know exactly how it's going to plan out. 
So I literally said, right, I'm going to place my rangers outside of the range of the DJ booth because there was no way that I was getting rangers in range of the DJ booth. But I just realised that, oh yeah, there's space down here. <laughs> so that right, where I could have placed my rangers. Oh well, too bad. Didn't think that through. But again, we didn't think any of this through until we got there. <laughs> and then it was just spontaneous, I guess. Because, right, so I was spamming Medic at this point. You were probably using the Commander and its um its ability to spawn APCs. Yeah, I wasn't really... Well, APCs kind of suck. I was mostly just chaining the best I can between the stuns. Like, literally, at this point, it's literally spam the fuck out of the Medic. And, like, have an optimal spot for it so that... You'll see this later. The Fallen King gets, into the, gets in the way of placing my Medic. And <laughs> it does kind of cross over a bit. <laughs> but the thing is, it's just not to panic too much <laughs> like because at this point it was ju it's just the awakened fallen king this is our opportunity to move some of our stuff move i tell everyone right we need to move some of our stuff to the end because it's the only enemy we have the time to do it we, we should not we should you know just not stress because like the fallen king the fallen guardians here are like they're on health regen so there's no point in going for them yeah the honor, yeah, the honor guards have health regen but i think they're I think they're slightly slower than Awakened Fallen King, or at the very least, they can be frozen. Yeah, but... In, yeah, true, but... And it kind of quote Patrick Star, we picked up our stuff and moved it over there. Yeah, that's, that's really how we did it. Um, I said leave the rangers, because they have range of everything. We just need a commander on them. And that's what that's what, literally what we did. <laughs> but because the rangers aren't important, they have range of everything, they can deal high amounts of damage, doesn't matter. <laughs> But, I mean, here the, the, the ranges aren't being commanded, but that's fine. <laughs> but literally, our focus was, was on the Awaken Fallen King at this point because of the health regen enemies. <laughs> um, but then, you know, we, we eventually did beat it with like a good amount of path left. <laughs> yeah, but it's still like Fungi Island, which is the longest map by far. Yeah, so like... Like, imagine trying to do this on Stained Temple. I think on Stained Temple might, like, legitimately be impossible. I think most At maps. At least, like, right now. I think most yeah. Because, like, people are saying, oh, yeah, you ha you can only do it on Fungi Island. No, you, you can do it on any map. It's just that right now, you can only currently beat on Fungi Island because it's the easiest map. Me going on lay by and activating Hidden Waves. <laughs> right, that's the thing, because, like, again, people are complaining about, um, oh, yeah. Another thing people complain about is the rewards of this are just too too low. <laughs> like 100, 100 gems and like about 300 XP. If you're beat, if you're doing the hidden wave just for the rewards. Yeah, so it displays 110 gems for you just because of VIP plus. But like, I'm gonna be honest, 100 gems kind of sucks. Yeah, but I didn't really, I didn't, I didn't really care what the rewards were. I, I did it for the sense of achievement. That's well, yeah, it. like that's why like people are doing it now. But like later on, like it's good to have like an alternative to doing hardcore. But like, yeah, true. It, yeah, like if you're playing with three people, you can do it in like a solid thirty minutes. Yeah, like outside of the first forty people to be, well, for, for, sorry, first forty-eight to beat it, people aren't going to see anything. So, like, I kind of understand, but it's it's just it's just a. F I don't want to say you should be playing for the rewards. But that's what people are just playing for. Right? People play the game for the rewards and that's it. People don't play it for the enjoyment. I I played this for the enjoyment. I didn't play it for the rewards. <laughs> Which I think this is what that's that's what people should be viewing the hidden wave as. It's it's meant to be an enjoyment. It's not meant to be so it's not meant to be like a laborious chore. Like, yes, we did it as a laborious chore, because that's that's because we knew how to do it. we well we didn't know how to do it. We knew how to trigger it in a roundabout sense. <laughs> we had a, an outside chance. Of beating it, which we did. <laughs> also, I'd like to point out we didn't do it as trio. We did this quad. It's just that because um, a person, uh, someone. Um, so the rejoin bug. Yeah, the is the well, no, well a bug with rejoin, not a. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, we didn't do it trio. Like people are saying, you can only do it on trio. No, you can do it in quad. We did it with quad. Literally, when when our names appear, it appears as a bunch of four. So we did this as a the quad. Fact that my name was first was kind of funny. Your name was first, because... He's like, in Below's, in Below's tweet, he... He shouted me out first, and I'm like... Oh my fucking god. Hold on, do I have the tweet? Uh, hold on. Yeah, your name's first. Uh, at the time, there was only eight of us. Uh, yeah, he then mentions 48. Um, 48 users. Uh, right, so... Now the cat's out of the bag, the first 40 users to beat Hidden Wave will be receiving an exclusive skin for an upcoming tower. Uh, and then, yeah, your name's first, and then it's mine. And it's like, 
I didn't realize you get a server message, but yeah. <laughs> Arnie was first. <laughs> that was just entirely funny that the entire world knows we just beat this. It's like, okay. I didn't want to advertise it until I uploaded the video, but yeah, sure. The world knows that we beat it. And then uh, the second team beat it after us, like uh, a couple of, uh, like 20 minutes after us. So yeah, like 20, 30 minutes later. Yeah. And then people were saying, oh, it's unfair. Um, we you had people literally legitimately think the developers we told had us insider knowledge if we had insider knowledge we would have done it sooner we would have done it much sooner and then we wouldn't have fumbled so much on that run we would have pretended that we knew what we were doing oh my gosh yeah but we didn't uh also the people think that the developers told us how to beat it like i don't think they didn't they gave us no clues. The only hints that we got were the hints that were told to the community at large. Yeah, also, I don't think people realise, why would developers tell us? Like, what's the purpose of us knowing? <laughs> like, why would they want us, of all people, to be the first people to beat this, right? It's like, we know them, yeah. yes. We know them. Well, okay. We, we... I mean, it's like, yeah, we're friends with them, but it's, like... QA stuff is still, like, work stuff. And, uh, and like, things... And, like... With different levels of confidence, like, so basically, and like, I guess like there's, so basically, for developers and the QA leads, are they are under NDA, which means if they leak stuff, they are legally responsible, like they, yeah, like they can legally be punished. Senior, junior testers, people don't it's know, like, it, it's, people, like a tr it's a trust thing. It's people, a trust thing. People don't understand the hierarchy. It, uh, it just, it's just, let's just say, we're based on trust. <laughs> Technically speaking, I'm under NDA, but that's with Roblox. Well, that's you not, are? I'm under NDA with oh, Roblox. With Roblox. <laughs> that's not with the developers. Yeah. We weren't told. We were told. We weren't told anything about this, <laughs> and we have no reason to. I get. What's? I'm trying to word this correctly. We have no reason to be to be favoured over everyone else, <laughs> essentially, mm -hmm. and the only reason why. <laughs> Uh, they went for the first 48 people is because people were questioning the fact that we were we beat it even though below have said has said we did it legit <laughs> in fact below said the first eight people did it legit <laughs> yeah e even though it was like an hour before anyone else beat it we knew that we 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 we, we figured we we sussed it out basically on knowledge and yeah, knowledge we, alone yeah we figured it out but simply based off of what was a bit like what was publicly available yeah so um people uh so people who uh want to beat the hidden wave um i, I guess accelerator engineer mortar <laughs> commander if you want to do like yeah if you want to do no special towers um Cause yeah because we, we, what we did well no like no event towers you can just do what we did but substitute cryo for electroshocker yeah because we used the chiromancer because it was very effective but you can you can use the electroshocker and also pretty sure there are, you can use four electroshockers and they're quite effective the last time i texted they it, are they are very effective so the electroshocker also does work like people people are literally scrutinizing us <laughs> they're like oh yes you use admin commands no we didn't all right uh you use admin towers no we didn't okay you used a rejoin bug. No, we didn't. Right. You used an event tower. <laughs> like, okay. But other people can also use event towers. Like, how is that a criticism you know, of Electro us? Would have just, and Electro would have just kind of been better. Yeah, I don't know about... I, I mean, I think they would have been so effective, but it really doesn't matter. At the end of the day, we did it legitimately. We've told you how you guys can beat it. No, you're not going in the foot within the first 40 people to get an exclusive skin. We didn't know that we were getting an exclusive skin. I, well, I didn't know I was getting an exclusive skin. But at the end of the day... Yeah, I had no idea either. Yeah. But at the end of the day, we're not getting favoured. <laughs> we weren't favoured. <laughs> they made allowances for other people who thought we were favoured. But we're not... We're not... We did it legitimately. <laughs> so that's all I can say. Um, yeah. Any last words to the people? I mean, yeah. I mean, like, at least like, for this, I think you put it pretty sufficiently. Like, put it pretty, put it pretty well. I mean, like, if I had any closing words to people, I would say, um, I feel like this kind of, like, goes to show that when 
people want to find stuff out, people should band together rather than gas on each other because like I was saying before, without Jordan kind of stepping and uniting people, it it would have been like a lot longer. It would have taken a lot longer for us to find this. Like with how the community was going, I don't be honest, I thought this was gonna take like weeks or maybe even months. Yeah, I thought obviously people would have probably found it within like a few weeks, but like without Jordan kind of like uniting the community, um we probably would like he streamed for a while. Hold let me send you the link to his channel because I you you should you should put it somewhere. Yeah, I'll 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 if I remember. Um I'll literally just send I'll send you the link. I might still not remember, but I'll include this in the video and hopefully that jogs my memory to remember, but I I I, I my memory's weird. But I'm not this is yeah, not to fine. this is not to like discredit him or whatever, what he did. If he figured out the stuff before anyone else. Yes. Great, congratulations. He did it. Other than other than that, we had no we had no insider knowledge. People were literally gaslighting each other over the number thirty-two. Oh that, my god, yeah. That's the funniest I can't believe that happened. Yeah. Okay, actually closing thoughts. Um the answer to life, the universe, and everything isn't thirty-two, it's forty-two. Get it right. <laughs>